we encounter lots of different speech sounds. And if we hear words like Tom, what, and water, even though there were versions of uh, a T sound that um, were, sounded very different, we perceive them as the same category. We understand that we heard something and it was part of this T category, right? Um, and part of this class, you're even having to, to sort of unlearn that, right? So you're having to perceive versions of a T that you didn't have to pay attention to before. But the point is that for broad transcription, we just categorize these as T-like sounds, okay? So <clears throat> when we transcribe them broadly, we can just use the underlying phoneme, meaning the category that's in our head, knowing that all these different sounding allophones are part of the same group. In some cases though, phoneticians like to highlight an allophone where they, <clears throat> instead of transcribing it as the category, they like to kind of indicate, oh, but in this case, it was this specific one. And that's true of the alveolar tap. So the alveolar tap is an allophone of actually two different phonemes, and actually more if we look at other languages. Um, but we're just going to talk about English. And so if we have a word like uh, graded, like he grated some cheese, we can have an alveolar tap there because we have a, a T phoneme that occurred between two vowels and the first one was stressed. We also happen to have the word graded, meaning he graded all the papers. And so there we have the underlying phoneme that was produced with the same quick striking um, uh, production as the um, as the T phoneme was. So we see that we have these two different categories that can be produced in the same way. Now this is important. There's one thing that we cannot do. Okay, What we can't do is transcribe the version of T as if it were a version of D we wouldn't substitute the lowercase d into we grated the cheese. Um, it's not an underlying d. It's a underlying t that sounds somewhat d-like, okay? So you have an option in words like grated and sorted and water. You can transcribe it as the underlying t phoneme you can transcribe it as the alveolar tap, which is in some graded work required for you to transcribe it, recognize and transcribe it. But what you can't do is transcribe an underlying T as if it were underlying really a D. So you can use the underlying phoneme for broad transcription. In some cases, you'll be required to show more detail and you might have to use the alveolar tap, but never use one underlying phoneme to represent the other. I hope that helps.